Virgo, Virgo, hello, my love. So this is going to be your August 2022 Bone Curio reading, Virgo. So I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Let me get everything in my hand so we can start, Virgo. Hopefully we're going to hear about lots and lots of money coming your way. Well, if that's what you want. If that is what you want, Virgo. All right, let me get these little ones. The world. I swear I feel like my hands are shrinking, Virgo. All right. Spirit, Virgo, August 2022. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What do we have for my Virgo? Let me make sure I pick everything up. What do we have for my Virgo? All righty. I'm going to make sure I thought I saw something shoot over here. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. All right, so Virgos, let's see. First thing that comes in is definitely money, money, money. Money. You definitely, your cowrie shell is upright on your money. You also have the world card. So if you have like a business, say a home-based business, um, or global or something where you're mailing things out or whatever, I feel that there is going to be some type of increase that comes in with your finances. Some of you health wise, you may have spent some money out for some type of procedure or health issue. Um, and it may have kind of put you down for a little bit Virgo when maybe you needed some help because we have the person over here with the bent legs. So some of you may have been dealing with an energy of something that you had to take care of but it may have ended up costing you a little bit of money, but I feel like insurance may have helped you guys a lot because it's not upside down. We definitely have spirit over your health, so I feel like that they were there. You also have the chicken foots over your health. So there was a lot of protection. If you did go through any type of surgery, anything, it looks like that there is a lot of protection around you. Spirit is definitely telling you or giving you some ideas about money or how to make money coming in and in your good luck sector if you played a lotto played a lotto more money is on top of it the catcher's mitt is up so this is like let's catch some money we got something that open that's opening up so i do feel like that there's definitely something coming in especially within the next three months this could be three weeks three months i don't think it's three years so it could even be three days three days three weeks three months there should be some good news that's coming in about something with money. Now, for a few of you, relocation kind of crosses over your money and also your family. But there's a lot of gunk that's going on in the family sector. We have evil eye energy. We have the skeleton hands up. And then we have a little girl. This could be having an issue with a child because we got, it looks like a male and a female. This is not a girl and a, and a boy. This could be a man and a female. But there's definitely some type of evil eye energy and the handcuffs are showing somebody who feels trapped or bound in something. So oh, there may even be some type of trip because we got the mermaid. So I'm wondering if some of you could possibly be traveling out or going on some type of trip with somebody. Maybe you're trying to clear this energy. Maybe you're trying to fix a relationship or put something back together. Um, so there may be something going on with family that you will have to address this month, or maybe you already have. Um, I do feel like that there may be some type of travel that's coming in. So maybe the budget is a concern. You're trying to worry, or, or you're worried about the money and the spending on some type of trip, or maybe you and this person are not seeing eye to eye when it comes to where you want to go or something that is being, um, Planned for the family. Thank you, Spirit. I do see with the world, this could be traveling out. So there, I feel like there's a couple of different trips. For some of you, you could be going somewhere where there's a beach or traveling out. Some of you, I don't know why I keep hearing Europe, Europe, Europe. So I don't know. I don't know if you're going to Italy, Germany, London, um, and maybe you are planning something out, but there's some concerns about the money or either maybe leaving somebody behind. Um, or some of you may even be having problems where you want to go travel somewhere, but you're obligated 
by your kids or someone that's staying in your house. Will not apply to everybody. But I do get the money on top of right straddling good luck and uh, travel. Some of you, I look, I feel like you manifested some type of trip. Like you prayed for something to come in. You were waiting for the money to come in. It looks like that the money is coming through. But we got the little skeleton hands all up. Like, gimme, 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 gimme. So this might be like, okay, I'm going on this trip, but I got to pay for this. And then I'm doing this, but then I got to take care of this. There's money coming in, but they could be worried about the expenditure of the money. I think it's going to be okay. But if you are traveling out, for some of you, if this is a vacation, there may be a relocation that's coming in later this year. For a few of you, there is a relocation and it may be a part of what this travel is. Like I'm, I'm moving to a different city. I'm moving to a different state. I'm moving to a different country. And there's emotions about this. Somebody is having a hard time. Maybe they're ready to leave, but they're still kind of struggling with a new beginning. So you may have had something new come in or an opportunity and it's like, okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to move somewhere. But there's mixed emotions about it. Somebody may be like, I'm not ready. You could be dating somebody because we do have the bullet hole, the bullet hole, the bullet case. And some of you, I'm wondering if possibly you could be dating someone and there's an opportunity that either comes up for you or for them. And it's like, uh, I, okay, I got to take this opportunity, but it's going to require me to relocate. And this other person is like, well, I don't want to relocate. There may be some type of back and forth with this. Some of you may also have a child that's getting ready to go to college and you're not ready to let them go. To be worried about the money of it. So there's a, a couple of different scenarios, but I kind of feel like somebody's leaving and it's like, oh, there's a lot of emotions that are attached to it. Money and more money in the good luck sector with the pictures meant is a good thing. This is a good time to start businesses. This is a good time to maybe, like I say, play the lottery. If there's something that you want to invest in, this may be a good time because it looks like that you have money coming in, especially in legal matters. If you're dealing with something that um, you were worried about in a legal matter, I see delays with it, but it looks like that something is going in your favor. Um, good spell work is showing a new job that's coming in. Now, we have the RN, we have the tooth. This could be some talk about... Um, going into you know some issue or some business with dental this could be with health we also have the dog veterinarian or this could be thinking about going into business with a friend so there may be something that opens up and i feel like that you're really kind of like okay let me pin this down because i really want to bring this money in so i feel like you manifested this I don't think this just kind of fell out of anywhere, anywhere. I think that you really manifested this job and it looks like that there's going to be some growth. Some of you may be working with other people or working with a team with this job, but it does look like a positive energy that's coming in because we have more money and we have new job. We have manifestation. So Virgo, if you're manifesting something, be specific because it looks like that is coming through. Your manifestation hat is up, which means that a lot of things that you speak you can bring into existence um, this month. And I feel like there's some big changes that are coming in. Now, let me see. I don't feel like there's any health issues, particularly that may be major, but I do feel that there may have been some things that, I don't know, this could have been, you know, catching COVID. This could be, um, you know, minor surgeries. This could be dental work or elective surgeries that maybe you had to pay out. So it may not be any big, big thing because the purse is upright, which makes me think that some of you, you're, you're doing some type of elective surgery or something, or maybe this is something to do with your health, tummy tucks, weight loss surgery or something like that. And it's like, okay, it's going to make me feel better because we got transformation coming in through spirit. Let's see. Demon head is upside down with the sword next to the crown. So I feel like you do have some opposition. Um, and we saw this with Leo. So some of you could be dealing with a fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, some of you may be talking to this person and they feel like that you're not being supportive of them or you're not boosting them up. Um, this could be something 
definitely having to do with communication because we have the conch shell upside down. I don't feel like that this is going to be a long-term thing because we have the sun upright in the hummingbirds are next to it, which is really positive communication. So you may have some type of issue coming in with a air sign or a fire sign. And it may not be as bad as you think. There may have been some things that were said, but with the sun card, it's kind of like, okay, this person just needs a little time to, to hear me out or to think about it or to marinate on it. And then it looks like that we're going to put it back together. Or there could be a mediator that comes in that helps you get to this point. Because you could be dealing with something that you don't want to see or a person doesn't want to see. And if this is a child, you could be talking to somebody about their stability. Like, what's your next move? If this is a love interest, some of you might be talking to this person about, okay, so what are you going to do? Are you going for the job? What's going on with you? What's the plan? And I feel like that there's something with miscommunication at first, or maybe this person doesn't want to hear it or see it right. Now, we do have a double head on top of the health heart and your foundation. So this could be, like I said, some health issue that you have to deal with. This is, may not be you, though. You may have already had something, but you have you may have somebody close to you that may be getting sick and there may be some conflict. Maybe this person is a bad patient. They don't want to be taken care of. They don't want to listen to anything that you're telling them. You could be a travel nurse trying to tell somebody something and um, they don't want to see it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to hear it. And I get a lot of back and forth with somebody. So I feel like if that's the case, don't waste your energy. If they're not ready for it, they're not ready for it. But it does look like a third party may come in and help smooth this out. So let's see. In love. Love. We got the half moon. We have the bullet casing. We have eight. This could be eight days, eight weeks, eight months. We definitely have something that is, I feel like has is needing work. You could be in a relationship and it doesn't have to be just romantic. This could even be platonic, but you could be dealing with a situation where this is not the easiest of relationships. Some of you may even be regretting connecting with someone. Um, and it may be because of communication. But I feel like that for some of you, you may be going through something where it's like, okay, this is a little bit, you know, heavier than what I thought it was going to be. But I feel like that either you're doing something shady or they're doing something shady, Virgo. And that could be causing communication problems. Because we have the moon, the half moon, I just, I don't know, I'm getting with that, that something is being hidden. Um, some of you may be finding out something about infidelities, whether this is you doing it or your partner's doing it. I feel like something is coming to light because we have the moon and then we have the star. Moon is hiding something, but then the star is illuminating something, which means that whatever is being hidden by the moon is going to come out. So for some of you, you may be hearing about something and it may be why that bullet casing is there. And the heart is over here. Maybe some of you are going to be dealing with a situation. We have the airplane travel. So maybe this is a person who goes out on a trip or something and they get sick. Something is brought to light. Or there's just some news that travels to you about someone. So I feel like that this could be a, a, a romantic relationship if you're married or in a relationship with someone there may be something that is hidden that will come to light from either your end or their end mm. we're definitely gonna have to look at the cards on that and go a little bit deeper may not apply to everyone but i am getting is this three i thought it was eight months so no it's three so this could happen three days three weeks three months that something may come to light in a relationship Use your intuition. If you don't feel like something is right, Virgo, I feel like, and you're very intuitive. Virgos are very, very gifted, very psychic people. They pick up on a lot, especially in their dreams. So if you're dreaming something about a partner or a person close to you, it may be like, okay, let me look a little bit deeper into that, um, especially if it comes with somebody that you love. Now, spirit is coming in and it's showing a transformation. Some of you may be working out. You may be changing your your diet, some of you may be having some type of weight loss surgery or some type of elective surgery. Um, you may be flying out to get it. Um, but I'm definitely feeling like there is something that I don't feel like you're going to be the same person next year. So I feel like whatever you're getting done, 
the healing card is coming out to me where it's like, okay, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to heal. And then next year is going to be like, ta-da, boom. So some of you, I feel like there's going to be a big change that's coming in. It could be because of a breakup and it's like, okay, now I'm focused on myself. Or it could be that maybe something happened in a relationship or a friendship that's making you feel like it's time for me to change. The anchor is on top of you, which is showing stability. And then you have the sun. So it looks like for some of you, it's all about stability and family. Like I'm not trying to do anything else, but make sure I'm good and my family's good or my money is good. And you do have opportunity and money coming in that you manifested. And we have three, three. So it looks like three days, three weeks, three months that there should be some really good news that's coming in. Ancestors are upside down. And this could be that some of you are not paying attention to your ancestors. Um, there may be messages that are coming in. There may be some things that you need to do. Um, so if you are dealing with ancestors or people who have crossed over, this could be simple as like, okay, cleaning your altar or putting something, um, you know, in, in place for them. This could also be pay attention to messages that are coming in from us. Some of you, you're going to have past love that comes back in and there's question marks on this person. We have the claw there. So it's like, do I really want to open this door back to you? There could also be even some, re, uh, what do you call it, reminiscing about somebody from the past. And there's a question mark of, should I reach out to this person? Should I try? The claw mark is there, which makes me think that mm, probably not, Virgo. Probably not. And it could be, too, if somebody does come back from the past, that maybe you need to question, what do they want? I get a lot of talking, but very little action. And then the question mark is confusion. So maybe somebody comes back into your life and you're like, okay, I'm not really sure what you want. Maybe they don't even know what they want. Or you could be thinking about somebody and you're thinking, I want to reach out to this person, but I'm not really sure where I want it to go. Mm. Take your time. Take your time, Virgo. Because if you're having problems in a relationship and it's making you reminisce with somebody from the past, Maybe you do want to open this door. The question mark is like, do I want to? But then we have the claw. Is this going to cause problems with the person that I'm with? Maybe you want to walk away from someone and focus on somebody from the past, but you're not really sure if that's going to be beneficial to you. I think that there's definitely something in a relationship that needs to be worked out. And it could be communication issues between you and this other person there also could be a change that's happening with somebody and they're like they're not the same person and that could be affecting the relationship somebody may be reminiscing about the past well when i was with this other person i had it like this and i don't feel that same way and then two i'm a different type of person maybe this isn't working for me anymore and i want to give this other person another shot or you could even be changing and wanting to try a do-over with this person but there's a question mark there. So be careful. Take your time with that. Especially if you're walking away from a relationship to open something back up from the past. I do feel like that there could be something going on with sickness in the house. Some of you make sure that you're looking. If you, you know, haven't had your ducks cleaned in a little bit, there could be something with mold. There could be um, inf infestations with things. Some of you, there may be a need for a big spiritual cleanse or a house cleanse if you've been having a lot of issues with a house. I'm not getting like spirit, but I am getting sickness. So this could be like maybe maybe somebody was sick and the house still needs to be cleansed out. For some of you, I'm wondering if this is maybe even your yard. If your yard is like mine, everything is just burnt up this summer. But there is sickness around a house, either around a house or in a house. So I feel like if you're a heavy if you feel like there's some things in your house that needs to be cleansed, cleansed, cleansed out, then you probably need to go ahead and do a good cleanse. Let's see. The bad spell work, we have the key, and it kind of felt the same way with the Leo. And this was like something with your roads being shut down or not open. Also, too, it's showing that spirit is there. Protection is there. So I feel like that you could have somebody that is maybe not wanting to see you grow or not see you succeed or there may even be concerns 
with this. Some of you may be even not connecting with your spirits. Um, if you're a practitioner, this could be that you need to really work on opening your roads. You need to connect with your spirits. I do see protection, but I'm getting that there is something that is not maybe moving in a direction that you want it to move in it's as smoothly as it could be. You have a lot of spirit intervention around you, Virgo. So it could be a simple thing of, let me step back and see what my next move is. I'm hitting a brick wall with certain things. Let me let me sit back and see if I can maneuver another way around. Some of you too, maybe you're too focused on work and money that you're forgetting to play. And that could be why it's feeling like this is closed off to you because you're pushing, you're overworking yourself. But we have a need for you to go ahead and play, to have some fun. That could be where these trips and things come in. Some of you definitely are going to, going to be relocating. You could be working from home or getting a job where you're working from home. Um, some of you just might be entrepreneurs where you're working a business already for home, but I see that there's some money coming in for you guys. And even if there's a relocation, it looks like it's still good for your business. Definitely try to play a little bit more Virgo. Some of you may have gone through some changes. You may have gotten some surgery or some things done, and you're kind of like, you know, taking your time recuperating. But spirit is kind of like, let's get into some fun. Let's not just work. And I feel like that the focus is on money, money, money. You have money coming in, but I see major focus on changing, opening some things up for yourself that maybe you feel like it's time. But I think you're a little bit too focused. It's a kind of workaholic type of energy, like, you know, spirit is like, go let your hair down, go to the beach, book the vacation, travel a little bit. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo spirit. Any guidance, any messages for Virgo? Virgo. All right. So we have the eight of pentacles and this could be going to school. This could be teaching. This could be getting a job that has something to do with education. Some of you may also be sharing knowledge with someone um but i'm getting a lot of creativity so this could even be spirit giving you a lot of ideas for a business let's make this let's do that and i feel like a lot of it is putting your hands into it but there may be definitely a job or money coming in because of something with education eight of swords is kind of like holding yourself back being your own worst enemies and on this we have restrictions limitations blockages where we have this key Something is not moving forward. So we possibly could have had like going back to school or learning something new or starting something that is creative, but then it's like, I can't do it. I don't have the time to do it. I don't have the money to do it. I feel trapped. I'm limited. I have all these obstacles. And then we have the six of cups, but in reverse. And this is literally like living in the past, refusing to grow up. So we have being limited, blocked, and then we have this past love over here with question marks and there's confusion. So it looks like that you have something that could be moving you somewhere else or opening another chapter in your life. But Eight of Swords is like, am I ready to do this? Because I'm still thinking about the past. I'm still looking at the past. So maybe this is that you want to move forward with somebody new, but you feel obligated to somebody who is coming back or you're, you're still looking at something that is holding you back. And it's showing denial on top of you. And then we have the Three of Cups reversed, withdrawn, untrustworthy friends, loss of a group. So it looks like you have money and opportunities coming in, but you're questioning. And we saw a lot of that evil eye in the family or with people that maybe you love. So it looks like that some of you may be looking at something where you know you need to move forward from it but you're scared to walk away from something. Now you could be withdrawn from people, but you're not letting completely go. Ah, strength card in reverse weakness. I think Virgo that you're being pushed to start something new. And I think it is gonna start in three days, three weeks, three months. And we have this thing of, but am I ready for it? I'm kind of scared. I don't know if this is gonna be better for me. This could be the relocation where it's like, I don't know if I'm ready to move away. We have withdrawn. Let me give me a moment. Let me think about it. There's confusion with that question mark and then weakness, self doubt. Am I going to be able to do this? I don't know if I can do this. So you're questioning yourself, Virgo. Why? King of Wands, leadership, business action, risk taker. 
So you could be coming across somebody or working with somebody that is motivating you. This could be a love interest. This could be somebody that you're connecting to through a job or friendship. And let's see where this person is taking you. Queen of Pentacles, business-like organized stability, Knight of Pentacles, materialistic. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles, reverse though, too focused on money, out of balance. Temperance card is like, I need to moderation. I need to adjust. Okay, so here we go. We have education, learning something new, using your skill set to open up doors. And you have a new job or money and relocation coming in, but I'm scared. I got to think about this. Um, some of the people that I'm working with or dealing with are not supporting me. They're making me not think that I can do this. And then we have weakness, self-doubt. And then you talk to somebody that kind of boosts you up. And it's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to organize. I'm going to put myself together. I'm working hard, which Virgos tend to overwork. And then materialism comes in. Greed. I'm working too much. I'm working too much. All I do is go home and go to work. All I do is go home and go to work. Temperance is like you need to find your balance, Virgo. We have seven of swords reversed. This is getting caught, something being stolen, returned to you, honesty, openness. And where is this taking you, Virgo? Six of swords reverse. Unforeseen forces at work, though. So here's the thing. We know that you started off. We're, okay, I'm gung-ho, and then we got this, I'm scared, I'm going to kind of withdraw, weakness is there, you get boosted up, somebody boosts you up, let's make this money, then it's like I'm working too hard, I feel out of balance, you find some balance, but then we got this thing where something comes out in the open, hmm, and then there is this feeling of being stuck, forces at work, let's see, knight of wands, impatient, unmotivated the world card obstacles then justice comes in five of cups renewal and then seven of pinnacles so we have i need to move i need to go ahead and do something i'm motivated i'm unmotivated i'm motivated i'm unmotivated i talked to somebody i'm motivated let me find my balance something comes out oh my god i lost my motivation it's not working in my favor reckless impatient being unmotivated the world card a move is coming in is it going to happen is it not going to happen i'm getting so upset things are not going the way i want it to go justice fairness balance logic five of cups reverse release from sadness moving on making new plans then we have the seven of pentacles trust your labors earn success keep going so you're going to deal with having to get out of your way you're overthinking way too much this month you have a lot of opportunities that are coming in but you got a lot of little pockets of things that are going to distract you and make you overthink them like i'm not good enough i can't do this this is not the right time nothing is not going to work for me in the past i did it and it and it this is the way it always went so i know this is the way it's always going to be let that go because that's not the way that it's going to be you definitely are going to get on your feet there's being impatience there is, you only have two speeds. I either I work myself to death or I'm unmotivated and you got to get somewhere in between and you do find that spot and you get weird or scared with it. It's like, oh, what is this? I don't want to be here. And then it's like, you're pushing yourself again, but then justice comes in to balance you out. And then we have this release from this energy. Let's make new plans. Let me move on. And then the seven of pentacles, the fruits of my labor have finally paid off. I finally brought in what was supposed to be good. And now I feel good about it. Whoo, Virgo. I'm tired just from the reading. Don't get caught. Don't overthink. And I know it's easier said than done because I'm an air sign. I'm a Libra. So I get the overthinking. But you are worthy. You are smart. You have what you need to succeed. Don't listen to that voice in your head that tells you you're not ready or you don't have it. You do. You do. That voice in your head keeps fucking with you. I could do better. I could do more. I could da 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 And when you don't get that what you want the way you want it, then it's like, oh, I'm so disappointed. See, it never was for me. It never is going to be for me. 
And you have people around you that are trying to talk you into like, yes, come on, Virgo, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. And you, you get that, 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 that little fire, but then it looks like somebody says the wrong thing or you wake up on the wrong side of the bed and it's like, it's lost. And then spirit brings it back around again. And then you finally release it. So I think that there's going to be a little roller coaster. I, <laughs> I have no, no, I think to it, there's going to be a little roller coaster this month, but you're going to see the fruits of your labor, but you have to balance your energy. You cannot work yourself to death. That's part of where you're, you're where it comes to being unmotivated. I'm tired. All I do is go to work and come home. I'm tired. I can't do anymore. And spirit is like, have some fun, balance your energy, go out, go take a walk, go play golf, go swimming, go do something fun, get your head back in the game, get it clear. And then that's when the release comes in, Virgo. You can do this, you guys. You can do it. You have something big opening up for you. Don't let your thoughts or your, your overthinking hold you back. You got this. All right, Virgo, I love you.